everybody. Let's give it up for that last poet real quick, though. Now, as you've heard from the lady, I'm Xavier Whitney, the local yokel at ALHS. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. To be honest, I stumbled into poetry only this year. I looked at the creative writing sign on the door, thinking I'd beat my fellow authors, and instead I stumbled into uh, this. I thought poetry only belonged to those artsy folk. You know, the ones holding cigarettes with them long, fancy holders, wearing a hat filled with rocks that told other people that only they had the eyes and ears for a design, that they stood upon a great tower and looked down upon us mortals, and I held spite against them for that. To be honest, I don't believe in gods or kings, only man and the meaning that we create for ourselves in our lives. The idea that fate exists for me, that all our lives are dictated by some great fickle deity with over seven billion marionettes, oh, I can't stand that. I have to be in control, though. To be honest, I stopped wearing a fedora and started regularly shaving my neck beard to avoid the fingers and the laughter from the internet. I'm so afraid of other people's judgment that I won't even let my own family hear the, my work just so I can avoid the talks. To be honest, I despise everything I've ever done as a child. Every single embarrassing act, holding my mother and father together in a doomed marriage for 20 years from the start simply by existing. That I watered down my lofty dreams of being the world's greatest inventor all the way down. I just wanted to be a welder. Ladies and gentlemen, we come here to take our masks off that for once a week or once a month, we can share our pain with the audience and have it reciprocated. And for 18 years, well, what you saw before you was a man of paper and pencil personality. And I'm usually happy with that crazed yokel mechanic persona I give to people, big and junk together, hoping to God it works, wearing bib overalls because I'm too lazy to pull my pants up and not because it covers my back and I feel safe within them that I love machines the way I do, not because they're tireless and allow us to do great things as a species, but simply because I'm kooky like that. <laughs> all of my fathers, well, not, you know, all my male role models were manly men. They were tradesmen. You know, we weren't supposed to show our feelings. We we're supposed to kill ourselves working 14 hour shift overtime. And you know what? Ah, shoot. But here's the problem, is that, well, I, you know, I have feelings and I got to share, but it's not exactly the manliest thing in the world. But to be honest, it only takes a little bit of pressure to make a paper man crumble.